Hi guys, it's Miss Sim back with another weekly video. Today we are going to be talking and reviewing about area and perimeter. Now I remember in the classroom we did very well with this, so I have high expectations and hopes that we can really remember how to do all this. But I'm just making a little quick video just as a little reminder and a little review. So I have some formulas down. I have the formula for area and perimeter. Area is the total amount on the inside of the shape that we are trying to figure out. So I have a rectangle here, so I'm going to try to find the area of the rectangle. How to find that is by multiplying the length times the width, only one time. So if I, for example, had a width of 5 and a length of 2, let's say, or a length of 7, I would multiply that length times that width to get a total area of 35. Okay. Now to find perimeter, as you can see around here, perimeter is the entire outside of the shape that we just found area for. And to find perimeter, we are adding all four sides. So we're adding the two lengths plus the two widths. So I would be adding the five, I would draw, write down another five, and the leftover seven. They are opposite of each other, so you wanna make sure and pay attention where you're putting these numbers. So in my head, five plus five is 10, 10 plus uh, 14, because seven plus seven is 14, so I would have a perimeter of 24. And that's just kind of a quick little standard view of how to solve for area and perimeter. So let's get started with a couple problems. All right, so I'm gonna draw a long rectangle and my width, my length is gonna be four centimeters and my width is gonna be nine centimeters. And all we're doing is we're just finding standard area and perimeter. So off to the side, I'm gonna put P and A, just so that way I know that I am trying to solve. Now, uh, you can solve anyway. If you wanna start by solving area, go for it. If you wanna start by solving perimeter, whichever you wanna start with. But I'm gonna start with area. So I know that I need to multiply nine times four. Now you gotta know your nine times tables or know your four times tables to be able to figure this out. But nine times four or four times nine is gonna be 36. And I have the label of centimeters, unit of centimeters. And I'm gonna put squared. Now remember this squared, the reason why we do that is because you are multiplying two sides. And when you multiply two sides, it's called a square unit. So we stick that little two right above that last little label. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna stick my four down here because it's opposite. And I'm gonna go across and add that nine. So nine plus nine is 18. Four plus four is eight, so I am going to add 18 plus eight, and I'm gonna get 16, carry that one, and I'm gonna get 26. So my perimeter is 26 centimeters. Now, because we're adding all four sides, you do not need that little squared. You only use the squared when you are finding area. This was standard how to figure out area and perimeter. Let's get into some a little bit more challenging problems where we have to find missing sides or we're given some information that we gotta figure out. So like for this one, we're gonna be finding perimeter. And we are gonna be converting with metric units. Now, We'll be talking about and remembering metric units a little bit later and on in the week. So I'm gonna give you the formula for some of these. So I have meters and centimeters. Now remember with metric units, you cannot add, subtract, multiply, or divide with two units that are not the same. You need to make them the same. So down here, I'm gonna write my little golden ticket rule. One meter is worth 100 centimeters. So two meters, will become 200 centimeters, and I have an additional 10. So I'm gonna kind of cross that off, and I'm gonna write 210 centimeters. Because if one meter is worth 100 centimeters, two meters is worth 200, and I had this additional 10 centimeters, so I just added those two together to get 210. And I'm gonna do exactly what I've been doing. I'm gonna go opposite, and I'm gonna write down 
the length and the width. Now to find perimeter, remember we add up all four sides, so I'm gonna add over here 210 plus 210, which is really 210 centimeters, and I'm gonna get 420 centimeters. Then 45 plus 45 is 90, so I'm gonna add 90 centimeters to the 420 centimeters. I'm gonna carry that one. And my perimeter is gonna be 510 centimeters. And because it's perimeter, I don't need that uh, squared symbol, squared unit. Okay, so when you are dealing with metric conversions, remember you have to convert whatever the number is. So for example, like I've just been saying, two meters to centimeters is gonna be 200. I have this additional 10 that needs to be added. That's how I got this 210 right here. Now I'm gonna write that number opposite of the length and I'm gonna write that 45 opposite of the width. Now I'm gonna add everybody together as you see and I get 510 centimeters. Make sure you are labeling correctly. You do not want to not label. That's how you get points off, boys and girls. If it gives you a label, you must use the label. And make sure you, use it. you are using the correct label. Okay, now I'm gonna fix that, and we're gonna keep going. Now we are gonna try to find the missing side, which is gonna be X. We are given five meters. We have X meters. And this problem was nice because it gave us the area. So area is gonna be 25 meters squared. Now to find this missing side, all you have to do is ask yourself, what times five is gonna give me an area of 25? Well, if you know your five times fables, five times five is gonna give me 25. Okay, so your missing side is really five meters. That one wasn't too terrible, pretty simple. Okay, now we're moving on where we have to find the length and the width now. They're gonna give us area and perimeter, but we have to decide how we find out what the length and the width are. So I'm gonna put length, I'm gonna put width, the area of this problem is 32 centimeters squared, and the perimeter is 24 centimeters. Now, when you solve a problem like this, really look at the information that they give you and kind of figure out. I like starting with the area because it's probably the easiest out of area and perimeter to figure out what your length and the width are. You need to know your multiples, your factors of 32. So I know one and 32 can give me 32, two and 16 can, and eight, oh, sorry, four and eight go into 32. Now, once you get your multiples, your factors down, now it's just a matter of just putting and adding around. So you're gonna have to guess and check. Well, if, let's say the length is one and the, my width is 32. Well, 32 plus 32, let's add it together just to be sure, it's gonna give me 64. That's way bigger already. Just adding the two widths is way bigger than the perimeter all in total. So I know for a fact my area and my, uh, my width and my length cannot be one and 32, so I'm gonna erase that. Now I'm left with two and 16. Well, let's see, 16 plus 16 is gonna give me 32. It matches my area, but not my perimeter. So I know for a fact that, six, that two and 16 cannot be my length and my width. Now we have four and eight, let's see. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 8 is going to give me, let's see, 6 plus 2, that's going to give me 4. <coughs> 1 plus 1 is 2. Ooh, okay. So our perimeters, when I add up all the sides, match. So it, if I put 4 and 8 there, when I add everybody up, 
So if I put another eight, a four, and add all around, I'm gonna get a total of 24, which matches our perimeter. And I know that four times eight is 32. So knowing that information, let's say my length is gonna be four, and my width is gonna be eight. Or you can reverse it and put eight as the length and four as the width doesn't very much matter because your job was to determine what the length and the width are. Start with your area, get all your multiples, all your factors down, and then start adding like we just did. One plus 32, well, you know one plus 32, 32 plus 32 is gonna give me 64, way bigger than the perimeter that I needed. You keep adding all the way through. Okay, all right, one more problem to wrap up area and perimeter. We are trying to find the missing side, but we are given perimeter, which is a thousand meters. Our job is to determine what that missing side is going to be. So I have XM as the length and 150 meters as the width. Now, to determine this, this one's gonna have a couple steps in it, so you wanna make sure that you are paying attention and taking the notes. I know that this is 150 meters. Its opposite is going to match. I am going to add 150 plus 150, which will give me 300 meters. I'm gonna take this 300 and I'm going to subtract it from a thousand. The reason why we're subtracting is because your job is to figure out what this length is. We don't know what the length is, so we're gonna use the information that we know. We know the perimeter is gonna be a thousand meters. We know one side is 150. The opposite side is still gonna be 150. So I'm gonna add those 250s together, get 300, and then I'm gonna subtract it from 1,000. <laughs> so when I subtract it from 1,000, I'm gonna get 700 meters. Always remember your little labels. Now the big step comes. Well. X cannot equal just 700 because that would mean 700 here and matches here. And when I add 700 plus 700, that's 1,400, way bigger than the perimeter. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take that 700 and we're gonna lucky seven it and we're gonna divide it by two. The reason why we're dividing it by two is because we have two lengths that we have to determine which each one is worth. So I'm gonna lucky seven it. Two can go into six, seven. The two times three, which will give me six. I'm gonna subtract six from the seven. I'm gonna bring down my zero. Two can go into <coughs> 10, five times. I'm gonna subtract that. Bring down this zero. Two cannot go into zero, but you can't have a remainder of zero. So two can go into zero, zero times. And I'm gonna subtract that. And there we go. <laughs> so the total of X is gonna be 350 meters. Now that makes sense because I can add off to the side. 350 plus 350, that should give us 700, and it does. And then I could add 300 to it because 150 plus 150 is 300, and I get 1,000 meters. So when I check myself, I can clearly see that the math that I found and the side that I found Add it all together, all four sides add together, it's gonna to get me the perimeter of a thousand meters. This one was a lot of steps, but it's okay. Just take the information that you know. They gave us a thousand, they gave us 150 meters. Match the sides up, add them together, subtract that total from the perimeter total. Then you just gotta divide that total by two. Use your lucky seven or your box method to figure out what it should be. Then you're gonna add, this is your check, when you add all four sides together. 
350 plus 350 meters is going to give me 700 meters. Let me just add that. Plus our 300 meters, because 150 plus 150 is 300 meters, add it all together and you get a matching answer to the perimeter. All right, guys, this was just a quick review of area and perimeter. Until the next video, bye.